welcome to the Fiber Pusher. I'm Bonita Story. Um, there's going to be a video that you're going to be seeing soon where I talk about this, which is an antique click or cloth reel. And I show how I wind yarn onto it and everything like that. But what I wanted to do was show you how it works. And if you hear something that's got making snorty sounds, that's my cat Dylan. He uh, has a... Um, he has a sinus issue that is just stays with him. It's chronic. So he kind of sounds like a little piggy wandering around once in a while. So you're going to hear him. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you how this thing works. So let me turn it around and let's get it taken apart. gotten the panel taken off I wanted to show you what the inside looks like you have the mechanism that goes round and around which is the part that winds the yarn on and you can see it has a like a screw threads that goes into this and I love the way they drew this out you can actually see the grooves for when they were cutting the teeth for the cog so as the screw goes around it turns the uh, the mechanism now what's really interesting is there's a spike sticking out here now this spike is metal um, this is wood this is actually attached to the bottom and everything but there's a couple of pins here that hold it now watch what happens when that pin comes around Coming up to the triggers, what I'm calling it, and it pushes the trigger, and it pushes, and it pushes, and it clicks. And at that point, when you've got done turning, you've got 80 yards, because it takes 40 turns. I'm going to back it up a little bit, just to show you. Now, you can't go backwards on this. This thing only flips one direction, because these pins are holding it. It only goes that way. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 35, 36, 7, 38, 39, 40. And then we're back to where we started at. So I think this is just a really cool mechanism. Um, obviously, whoever developed this, uh, this is a handmade. Obviously, it's a very homemade job. I love the fact that you can actually see the scoring marks as he's taking um, uh, a draw knife and actually shaved it down in order to get this to come down and these are all whittled out by hand and then plus it's hard it's 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 old it's gotten a little I probably ought to take some um, stuff in here to to uh, feed the wood a little bit but he's got a wood peg here and that's kind of a cap that is goes caps the axle to keep the uh, the gear mechanism in place. But I just think this is such a cool... <sighs> Somebody had to work hard building this. And it's just a really nice... I mean, you have to get pre really precise on that screw mechanism at the top. And the way he did the teeth, where he drew them out in order to make sure... I mean, if you look, he even has his, rad his um, circumferences going all the way around. And then he's got his radius is coming out from it in order to get his teeth absolutely perfectly spaced. Um, I think it's a really incredibly cool mechanism. It's one of my favorite tools that I use in my studio. It does get used an awfully lot. I love look how it comes down where you come down. And this one here picks up that next one and pushes it around. And then it comes out 
over here and then this one here is ready to pick it up again yes all made it's all handmade um i just think he did a fantastic job whoever was the craftsman on this i wish it was signed it's not but uh yeah i just wanted to show you how this worked so let's let her click again and then i'll put it back together And there you go. So I thought you guys would like to see that. Talk to you later. Bye.